It's so not about just the gardening. It's about the relationships and the education that comes from gardening together in our community. So, nice. I might have to use that. When I think of what is CGC, I think of what do we do. We are building a three foot high <laughs> garden bed. This project really re represents the best of Antioch's mission. It's not community gardens in the traditional sense. It's the education and the relationships. Sharing some ideas about cooking with the garden produce that you'll be growing this summer. We would just come out here and we would pick food right out of the garden uh, for our, our snack and our lunch for those teen camps. The big difference is the commitment we have to working with groups and individuals who have not traditionally had access to healthy food. Many of them are older and were raised on farms or in a rural environment. It's great. I mean, you're just watching the dirt come in, and, and like you know what you have, you can actually stick a hole and go right down to the ground. It, you know, without roots or rocks, it's uh, it's a new new experience for me. Here's a class assignment. All right, plug it right into CGC. Oh, I learned that in CGC. Oh, that didn't go well. Maybe I should learn. You know, do a little research as a part of this class and and learn how to do that better. Had the, the trucks couldn't get all the way in, so we had to leave all the dirt here. And we had maybe about 30 to 40 little kids with buckets filling up the original beds. And then we had a, a painting celebration and planting days. Once or twice a day to check on the garden, to water it, to make sure it's getting enough sunlight, to pull the weeds. Well, in addition to really good food, <laughs> um, I think it brings them a sense of accomplishment. Really, this started with a graduate student's master's project, and she did a needs assessment, interest assessment in the community as to how Antioch University New England could be of service to the broader community around food and agriculture. We knew that this was going to be a great resource in connecting people to healthier eating, healthier habits, and you know where their, their food actually comes from and where it should come from. Helping the gardeners think about what their vision is for the garden. So not just like, okay, we're going to have a garden, so these are the things that a garden has. Okay, let's do that. But like, wh who, are we who are we serving? How do we serve them? What are their needs and abilities? What makes Great programs, great is the willingness to always revisit and learn, and the team at Antioch has, has done just that. They're always looking for feedback. This is the work I want to keep doing, um, so I feel like it kind of just gave me a jump start on that, like, oh great, okay, so I'll take this with me wherever I go. I can't thank the school enough for uh, this program. It's just thumbs up all the way. This project would not be at all possible without the support of the Rashi Foundation. I was actually planning on having an office job. I was actually kind of excited to have an office job so I could really concentrate on my studies. <laughs> and then it turned into this thing that was um, much bigger than um, anything else I was, I was doing in Antioch. Um, and it ended up being um, one of the most important integral parts of my time at Antioch. I forgot what your question was. <laughs> right, so in the garden and we made carrot cookies, carrot oatmeal cookies. Um, we made... You can't get a good tomato in the store. 